Hey y'all, welcome back to another video with Claws by Aja. Please like, comment, and don't forget to also subscribe so you can keep updating me with my latest videos that I post. I want you guys to just follow my journey and tag on with me on my growth of this nail journey, this nail tick. I'm going to be doing this set right here. A cute little simple French tip set that I'm going to be doing on this client today. As you can see right now, I'm just removing the natural oils from her nail bed so we can start her prep off and so we can get her good and situated for application. So I'm going to let you guys just watch me prep her natural nail beds and I'm going to come back and talk to y'all. All right, y'all, so moving on to the next step, I'm going to be cutting her cuticles. As you can see, getting up and close and personal right there, just showing you guys what I am cutting precisely. No, I am not cutting her whole entire skin off. I'm just cutting the dead skin off that pushed back once I pushed her cuticles back. That's it. I do like using this method than using the regular cuticle nippers because those I'm just not comfortable yet with using on a customer. Well, on a client. I'm so stuck into my real life job. I said customer, client, I mean. So, I just feel way comfortable using this method on a client right now than the regular ones. Because the regular ones are sharp in my opinion. But a lot of people say the same about these that I'm using. So, in my opinion, any one of them can cut you. You just have to know what you're doing. You have to just be careful regardless when it comes to both of them. So just make sure you're doing, you know what you're doing and being careful so your client doesn't get nicked. Y'all, I came back just in between. This is so satisfying to me. Just look how the dead skin just falls. Am I the only one that thinks this is satisfying? Because this is very satisfying to me. All right, y'all. So next, I'm going to start applying her nail tips to her natural nails. Right now, I am just applying it to her free edge. Since her nail bed is small, it's going to look like her nails are going in her apex area instead of her free edge area. But that's only because her nail beds are small. As you can see, my client does have damaged nail beds. And I asked her what happened because the last time she came and got her nails done, they weren't like that. But when I asked her about the situation, I said, you know, what happened to your nails? What happened? And she just basically told me that she was breaking up a fight. In the midst of her breaking up the fight, her nails basically were the ones that were injured in the fight. So they popped off and... I guess they just, she told me, it just made a crack in between her nails, and she said she wasn't bleeding. It's been a couple of weeks, well, almost a month and a half since I seen her, so uh, I'm just going to take her on her word. I really do trust this client, and I know she wouldn't lie, but I always make sure to ask my clients, you know, what's going on with their natural nails, just to make sure that it wasn't just on my part, and I didn't do anything wrong. All right, guys, so next I'm just going to start prepping her nails for the acrylic application. I applied my nail primer off camera, and now I'm just going to dehydrate her nail bed some more with this dehydrator that I got from Amazon. All right, y'all, so next I'm going to take my Young Nails Protein Bun and just apply that to her nails, too, for her prep process. And if you guys keep hearing a beeping in the background, yes, that is my fire alarm. I am very sorry. I am going to get it changed soon. I cannot change it on my own because it's too high, but I am sorry for the noise in the background. That beeping is very annoying. Trust me, I know. All right, y'all, so now moving on, I'm gonna show you guys literally one clip of me applying her acrylic to her thumb. Um, 
what I like to say about my acrylic application is I definitely still do need work on it, but it's better than what I first started out with. I am getting to a point where sometimes I can do sets and won't have to shape as much as I had to use to when I first started doing my acrylic application. Yes, I do use more than three beads. I do use more than one or two beads. I am the type of girl to believe in you can use as many beads as you want to in order for you to feel comfortable about your acrylic application. So don't be discouraged about how many beads that you use because if you're feeling like your application isn't coming out right just because you use you know two or three beads go back in and add a couple of more beads because it's all about that end result and you don't want to have to do so much shaping at the end so girl if you gotta use five six seven eight beads girl use your five six seven eight beads i ain't no one two three b girl i am i believe in multiple beads 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 my way beads you guys so next after my acrylic application i am going to go in and seal her cuticles sealing the cuticles is an important step to your acrylic application just to your nail set application in general because this is going to help retention so i remember when i first started out i did not use to seal my cuticles girl and i was wondering why my nails were only lasting less than a week this was why seal them cuticles Alright y'all, so next I'm going to go straight into shaping after I'm doing my acrylic application. This is my favorite part, y'all. I cannot stretch this enough. This is my favorite part of just doing a nail set is the shaping because you can honestly, I wouldn't say you can lay your acrylic any type of way, but I have seen videos of people doing like bulky acrylic just on purpose just to show you after they whip out that foul, that 88 grit foul, and that 180 grit foul and they just get the shape in just shape it and it looks good at the end so i'm saying all that to say is that shaping is a big part of your nail sets and you should take it seriously because it's it's a big part and i like it it's my favorite part of this doing nail set so as you can see i go in go under go on the sides and then i'll go to the free edge i have a repeating system and then after i go to the free edge i'll go back to the sides and i'll buff at those fine lines that i put right there just by you know fouling the sides of the nails because i don't like that sharp look on my on the corner of my nails kind of like them to look rounded see look at that nail from the side it just looks good mm -mm -mm. Mwah. All right, you guys, so this is how my nails look after I've done shaped them, went under the free edge and thinned out the free edge too. Just look at it. 
let's, let's take a moment to sign it. All right, you guys, so moving on, I'm gonna just buff out all of those fine lines that I put on the nails with that 88 grit foul. 88 grit fouls leaves a lot of marks and stuff on the nail. So it's very important to buff out your nails after you're done fouling because you don't want no scratchy looking application. No, girl, you need to smooth that out. Smooth it out in a discussion, smooth it out, buff it, leave it alone. All right, y'all, because this is how it looked after we're done buffing and I had my client wash her hands. And then bam, this is the end result, guys. I really did love how everything came out. She got exactly what she asked for, exactly what she asked for. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye.